total of around 231 MHz. It's a no? Of course, you get 10 Yung 10 megahertz na yan is uh, future yan uh, kasi wala pa naman devices working on the 10 but it is projected and uh, there are also others in the future may mga ma-identify na spectrum to be used for mobile broadband. If ever uh, there will be uh, bidding of the spectrum, this will be the first. You think there is more demand now for these frequencies than when you initially tried the auction? Well, yes, because the the demand is mobile. There is uh, a strong demand for mobile broadband. So uh, anybody uh, who is interested to come in uh, must, ab must be able to uh, acquire uh, substantial uh, spectrum that are uh, available for use uh, in the mobile market. But can the incumbents participate? They will not be allowed. To. These two and their affiliates will not be allowed. Subsidiaries will not be allowed. What will be your key considerations for this auction? We have to consider setting the minimum bid price. So one of the decision is to come up with the minimum bid price Second is whether or not all of the available spectrum will be auctioned as one or uh, will be auctioned in separate bidding, uh, bidding, uh, bidding processes, etc. So these are the two uh, major uh, decision points. Do you have a timeline? Do you think it's possible to do this perhaps by early next year? I think so, but early next year. Because preparations will be uh, this year and, and early next year. So. Uh, uh, for as long as we get the go, sig we will get the go signal for uh, whether or not to to bid uh, to bid the entire available spectrum once or by tranches. So we have to get the uh, the direction as far as that is concerned, and then from that, then we determine the minimum bid price. Do we have any idea on possible valuations? Do you, would, would it be possible for you to set the bid price lower to encourage more players? You have to consider because if you want the entry of a third strong player into the market, you have to consider the man. its viability, <laughs> financial viability. What will happen uh, when you set the, the spectrum fees too high? You know, you are a newcomer entering a market which dominated with the two. You might not be able to survive. When you set the minimum price, it has to consider also the ability of a new player to stay financially viable in the long term.